got my tomato. So here's, um, I'm using a organic um, tomato. I would have used a fresh tomato, but I couldn't get organic fresh tomato to buy. So this is the next best thing. So that's why I'm using that. And um, I'll be adding some garlic and some turmeric. Those are the only things, basically the only things apart from the flavor flavoring I'll be adding. Those are basically the only things I'll be adding. Uh, ideally, I would add more items, but I'm just going to keep this as basic as possible. Then you can build it up. Be flexible with it. You can do as much as you want with it. So uh, let me just show you what I'll be doing. So I've got um, organic... Um, extra virgin olive oil here so I'm just gonna yeah so I'm gonna, gonna put this on medium heat just gonna allow this to heat up just a little bit then I'm just gonna put in my um, tomato so uh, ideally if you like you can put in some onions first but this is uh, gonna be a quick recipe so I'm not gonna add onions I'm just gonna go straight so, and the reason why I do this is that So this is the tomato pasta I'm using. So I usually make this, I don't use all of it for one pizza base. I put the rest in the freezer and I use it as needed. So here I'm just gonna go straight ahead. I'm just gonna go straight ahead and just break my my garlic. So I was gonna put two cloves of garlic, but I'll just leave it as one because I don't want it to be overpowering because my little girls are having this. So. I'll leave it as one just to keep it simple and basic. But at least I've got my garlic there, so that's good. So. Just gonna put in here half a teaspoon of turmeric. If you've not yet watched my turmeric video, I'll leave the, just check the, the eye, just click on the eye on the top of the video and to take you there so that should take you to how i make my turmeric so this is my turmeric paste it comes in handy so i'm not using a lot i'm using half a teaspoon of turmeric that. so it's it's pizza yeah so i am making it as nutritious as possible so that my body gets all the necessary nutrients and the goodies. So we're just gonna increase that a little. So I'm just gonna cover this up and I just let it bubble away for about another 20 30 minutes on low heat. So it's all I'm gonna be simmering it basically. Guys, so this has been going for about 20 minutes, so uh, it's on low heat now. And what I'm just gonna do is so 
So here, I'm just going to add a little bit of coconut and wine. Uh, a bit of coconut and wine. So, but in place of coconut and wine, you can just put, put um, some salt. Some, in place of this, you can just put some tamari sauce. Tamari sauce will work. Um, soy sauce will also work. This is just to flavor it, to put some flavor in it. This is so, this splashes a lot, so you have to be really careful. So, I'm going to add some dry herbs. Just some dry herbs here. You can put, use fresh herbs. Just use whatever you like, that's fine. So I'm just giving this a stir. If you're not using tamari sauce or soy sauce, you can just add some salt. But because I already used tamari sauce, I'm not gonna put um, because I already used coconut amino, I'm not gonna add anything here. So coconut amino is a very good alternative because usually I will use mantiki, but coconut amino is a very good alternative, although a bit pricey, but this is organic coconut amino, really good. So that's what I use to add some flavor to my cooking. So I'll do this now for another 10 minutes, then I'll turn it off. So I'll just turn the heat off and allow it to cool down. And after that, I can use it for my pizza topping. So that's just basically it. So I'll come back to show you when it's done and when it's cooked. Okay, so guys, there it is. So uh, I've just turned this off now, and you can see. Let me show you what the consistency looks like. And you just use a teaspoon, so you have an idea. You see, that's how thick it should be. So I'm just gonna leave this to cool down, and because I'm currently making pizza, so I'm gonna put some on the pizza base, and I'm gonna freeze the rest. So basically, that's what that is the whole process straightforward but this way you don't really taste the acidicness of the tomato you don't taste the rawness of the tomato here it's like nice and tomatoey but subtle so that's why you should prep it this way and your pizza will taste divine so i hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel Click on the notification button so you get not notified or updated every time we add a new video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.